there's this once in everyone's life where they start they start with new things in their life and then um, while carrying on with that new thing in their life they their goal is set and they keep dreaming of achieving a certain goal achieving something that is yeah it is pretty prestigious to have and with that goal they keep on moving and then finally after like a lot of time a lot of work towards it once they reach that goal it's the best feeling in the whole freaking world hello breeders this is breeders rx and i am here today with my own such story which describes how i started off with the dream and then how i accomplished it presenting you breeders rx's story of stadiums So starting off with how I got into Beyblade, how I started Beyblade. So what happened is that I was in class 3 I think like around uh, 9 or 10 years ago, 9 years ago and uh, I saw a commercial on TV which was saying Beyblade Metal Fusion coming soon. Now to be honest it, did, it didn't really attract my attention pretty much towards it so I didn't really watch the first um, few episodes but then I was hearing that a lot of people a lot of my pals at school were continuously talking about the new Beyblade thing that was going on on Cartoon Network. So I remember that it used to uh, like uh, each day a new episode used to air at like 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. or I guess that was the timing I don't really remember that clearly and everyone was talking about um, Beyblade Metal Fusion at school so uh, I felt like uh, it's it sounds interesting so I asked a friend and uh, guess what he just formed a group and started insulting me that this this little guy doesn't know what Beyblade is <laughs> so they, they said like uh, you don't even watch Ben 10 you don't even watch Doraemon then you don't even watch Beyblade then you are not cool man so I felt a little bad at that and so I decided that I'll start watching all those cartoons and then <laughs> I'll also acquire knowledge about them and then I'll also boast of this knowledge to other people because I, in those times we were little kids and we used to think that these are the things that make a person cool. So yeah I was determined. So this incident was what really got me into Beyblade because I started watching Ben 10 and, and those other things and to be honest they were really very exciting but Beyblade eventually became my favorite because it was like so interesting like uh, seeing all those things that Jenga with Pegasus and then Kenta with Sagittario and then Benke with Dog Bull it was just so exciting that I, literally I just became a huge fan of it and I used to watch that show every single day like I forgot about Ben 10, I forgot about Doraemon, I forgot about every other crap out there and all I was um, having my focus towards was Beyblade Metal Fusion. So yeah, it was still having a very high hype. And uh, you know what it was like that uh, my classmates used to discuss and they uh, they used to forget the names of the uh, the Beyblade owners and they just used to say Iska Malik, Uska Malik, Darbu Ka Malik, Jinga Ka Malik and so on. Crap. And I was the only one who used to remember their full names. Jinga Hagame, Kyoya Tategami, <laughs> things like that. Can't tell you me. <laughs> see, see, I still remember them. So yeah, and uh, I was uh, like, I noticed that I was becoming the cool guy in class who knew literally everything about Beyblade. But then once I just, um, I just saw something and I couldn't really believe it. In a store, I saw a little toy and I clearly remember that it was a Storm Pegasus. It was original, I remember, I mean, it was not fake, it was original Hasbro and I guess it was like some 300 INR, 300 rupees at that time, it's cost and I really wanted to buy it but still I was not with my parents so yeah and I saw Storm Pegasus, I saw that rubber flat tip uh, and noticing that it's made up of real rubber was really something really surprising to me and um, what I did was the next day I went to school and I literally spread the news ac across everyone. And guess what? Everyone already knew about it. And people were saying that I have this Beyblade, I have that Beyblade, I purchased this, I purchased that. And uh, then I collected more information uh, regarding it. And I got to know that um, Beyblade isn't just a cartoon. Like it wasn't just a cartoon at that time. Beyblade has, it, has its own toys. And like it was so 
such an amazing news for me because I was so excited like I wanted to collect them all but then there just came the worst realization of all so I immediately asked my parents for Beyblade like that night just I asked my father that dad I want a Beyblade <laughs> so uh, he asked me that what's a Beyblade so I literally sat there for half an hour explaining everything and after explaining he what what he did was he just gave me a nice scolding and then he went off and then my mom said that never ask him for such things again so i was kind of de- disheartened but i didn't lose hope i kept asking both my parents for at least one beyblade every single day and it wasn't really that expensive like it was just 300 350 rupees i guess but see the problem was that my my parents were never mm, like uh, they, they were never fond of Beyblade. Even now, even then. They they hated Beyblade like anything. And I don't know why. Like, they think that it's a waste of money. Many parents do that. So what my grandfather did was that he made me promise that um, I'll get good grades in my um, preliminary exams. It was just class 3, so yeah, there were no terminal exams or such. So, um, because I really wanted a Beyblade very badly... It was a 20 mark test and in all the exams I scored some 19 or 19.5 because it was really, I was really excited. And so I got my gift. Um, I guess one day uh, after my little brother's birthday, um, I got my very first Beyblade that was Rock Leon. And uh, you know how happy I was at that time. So moving on, yeah, I got my first Beyblade and then I kept on collecting, collecting and collecting. And soon with buying some some of fakes as well some reels as well M- buying a burn fire blaze buying a rock or so and stuff like that buying a dog bull i collected a lot of them my grandfather helped a lot and uh, then i had a huge collection but there was one thing missing a stadium at that time i had also uh, uh, like got to know that there are some beyblade epic beyblade videos toy battles on youtube as well and there i had cited the bb10 attack stadium and then we had searched it like a group of friends across our colony we had all searched for it and it was expensive at that time as well so we couldn't really afford one so what we used to do is that we used to get a plate from our homes like we used to take turns one day this friend will bring and then one way one day that friend will bring so and we used to battle our base on plates and stuff like that completely like destroying the performance tips then one day there was a a one guy who uh, managed to get a uh, a small plastic uh, stadium of bad quality it was a fake one he got it with a fake set so yeah it was a small stadium and tiny and uh, almost the size of our palm and trust me guys we used to enjoy a lot in that stadium like all the colony guys just used to battle in that stadium and my rock leon literally used to wreck all because most of them were having fake base and even if they were having real you know that rock leon as a stock bay is strong so yeah <laughs> but after that day i had decided that i do need a stadium i really want a stadium really bad and eventually after playing a lot with that stadium that stadium broke apart obviously and then I had faced a little tragedy which was that the same guy that owned the stadium he was moving to another country and uh, while I was battling my friend with my Rock Leon my favorite Beyblade in my collection there was my uh, my Beyblade bag with um, 8 to 10 bays or maybe I don't remember 8 to 10 or 14 15 maybe with fakes with reels with launchers with tools and guess what he just took the bag stole everything and ran away <laughs> so I'll not move to that but still, yeah, accidents happen, right? Friends can be, like, friends can reveal themselves to be snakes as well. So, yeah, then uh, I had almost no base and I felt like leaving it all. Man, like, I don't want to collect anymore because I literally lost all of my collection. I cried the whole night that day. Uh, <laughs> being left with just one bay in my collection, my grandfather still didn't say anything. He said that it's okay, we'll get you new ones. But I said no. My parents scolded me a lot as well that you wasted so much money. It's all your fault, although it was not my fault. Still, I'm not moving towards it. So I kind of left Beyblade for like years, and all I did was just watch the cartoon anime series that as they kept airing in India, 
in Indi on Indian televisions and I wasn't really much enthusiastic about it and then when the whole series ended like till Shogun Steel I watched and then the whole series ended so um, I just stopped watching it and literally lost all of my interest in Beyblade but then when I was in class 7 I remember after years um, I saw like um, uh, yeah we were all at some wedding or some party maybe uh, the whole family and my dad had a friend and uh, that man my dad's friend had his own family and in that i saw a guy who was like around my age only or maybe a year older a year, a year younger i don't know and uh, he was carrying a diablo nemesis in his hands so uh, i i was knowledgeable enough to notice that that's a diablo nemesis and uh, i kept asking i kept asking questions the whole day that bhaiya please tell me that uh, where do you get it from this and that this and that and he was telling me a lot of stuff so practically that's what got me back at Beyblade and that's the thing like it's been going on since then and uh, like I was in 7th grade 5 years I'm in 12th now <laughs> so I searched up for Beyblade on Amazon and I then I found out this thing the, the series called Beyblade Legends you all are familiar with that, aren't you? So, I, I got to know that they are selling some pretty cool base like Galaxy Pegasus, Meteor El Drago and stuff like that, Lightning El Drago for 500 bucks. So, I was kind of surprised because mm, I was used to buying like things for 300, 350 at max. And then, there they were selling all those things for 500. So, yeah, it was kind of surprising for me, but still, I was okay with it. But still, that guy's the same problem. Mm, at that time, my grandfather had already passed away, and uh, there was nobody to get me Beyblades. <laughs> my parents were totally against it, totally against it, and all I kept doing was just wailing and watching videos and um, watching those things again and again, their prices rising, their prices falling, and um, dreaming that when I will get those bays. So finally, after my Rock Leon, and like, when I had only one bear in my collection which was Rock Leon in 8th standard I got uh, a set of 4 new bays and uh, in that like I got uh, a stadium a little a little small stadium almost the size of my palm yellow colored here's the picture and uh, you can see that in this picture it's in a pretty bad condition but yeah it's it was beaten up a lot like I used it a lot and not only me, like, there were some, still, uh, some guys in our colony that were interested in Beyblade. Most of them were younger than me. And, uh, we used to battle in that stadium. And, uh, I was practically the champ because my Rock Leon with the worn down WB used to KO things like Diablo Nemesis out of that little stadium. So, yeah, it was pretty understood. Like, at that time, I used to celebrate as if I'm some, the great Khali or I'm as strong as the Undertaker or Goldberg. <laughs> You'll only get that if you watch WWE. But so yeah, uh, to the main thing, we, uh, we used to play in that stadium a lot until one fine day, it um, finally broke apart. And uh, then, yeah, I still used to battle a lot in, in that stadium. But um, shortly before it broke apart, all my friends, like, they had a feud and then they all split up and then left Beyblade. So in my colony, I was the only one who was interested in Beyblade. So I was the only one who was using my own stadium. And so it went on for pretty long, considering that it's such a ridiculous fake one. Still, it went on for pretty long. And uh, shortly before uh, I got that, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I lost that stadium. That stadium broke apart. Uh, I got, uh, I was in class nine, and I got the Beyblade Legends Death Castle Kudel, and it was like my, like my. Or an original bay that I got after years, and that to a 41 Death Castle Kudel. And then after that, I also purchased a set of like Beyblade Legends stamina set, Flame Sagittario and Thermal Pisces. So yeah, I was having four decent bays to battle in my stadium. And then I also got the Earth Eagle uh, with the worn down WD in a, in a bad condition, but still. So I had five decent bays to play in my stadium before like it broke apart. So after my stadium broke apart, I had nothing to launch my Beyblades in. So yeah, I was quite on the verge of losing interest again until like for 3 to 4 months I kind of kept it and um, 
I gave my class 9 final exams and during that time I also won a giveaway for this Burn Fireblaze Beyblade Legends and uh, thanks for XX Rubis with XX I still remember your name man <laughs> so yeah after clearing class 9 final exams I had uh, a good score and that's why my uh, my mother surprisingly got me this Diablo Nemesis Beyblade Legends as well so I had two Beyblades to unbox and uh, on my new channel I had decided that I will open up a new channel yes it was the same channel that you are watching right now so that was the time class 10 starting that I was opening my channel so I still had to wait for quite some time and I decided that I'll get a stadium I will get a stadium so I started saving money and I started looking for a BB10 stadium BB10 attack type stadium and uh, to my bad luck obviously I couldn't find it even if I did it was not below like um, $60 $50 and I, honestly I, I didn't want to pay like $60 $70 for that so I started looking for a Beyblade Bros stadium instead because I, I heard that it's it's also a good stadium I was not interested in Beyblade Burst until then but still the stadium is a different thing so yeah I started looking for a stadium and I eventually found one and I eventually um, like collected all the money as well and uh, therefore in May I just ordered that stadium in April in fact and that stadium like it went through a lot of controversies customs I don't know what not and it finally reached me after one <laughs> month because it was shipped very very late and then the moment it was shipped it literally reached my house within two days thanks to EMS shipping although it was very expensive but still I paid 50 to 55 dollars for my stadium but still I got the Beyblade Burst B33 Black Stadium and um, you pretty you all know that pretty much I use that stadium for like over two years in my videos that same stadium I did an unboxing of it as well so after using that stadium for quite some time and uh, wearing it down by a lot like a lot of scratches and stuff it was still holding pretty strong and it is still holding strong till today but like uh, around a year ago maybe or maybe more maybe less than a, a year I don't really remember um, I attended a Beyblade Burst tournament uh, in New Delhi at that time IBA wasn't there it was all just WBO and uh, so the Delhi Beyblade community was pretty much inactive I'm sorry to be admitting that and uh, today Delhi Beyblade community seems to be the best community in the entire Indian Beyblade <laughs> so yeah like best in terms of the most active please don't get me wrong so uh, what I mean is that at that time we were pretty inactive there were less tournaments and the thing was that uh, already there were less tournaments and i was the most inactive member of the delhi Beyblade community at that time because uh, i used to have a hard time making it to tournaments and literally i was uh, attending my second official tournament while others had already attended like five to six in the last two years and uh, i had attended my second one after one whole year <laughs> so i was like pretty rare and uh, people were surprised that this guy even made it <laughs> I was in class 10 and uh, 10 or 11 maybe I don't remember I think 10 or 11 or, or around that yeah so uh, what I did was I won that tournament with a blast I don't know how maybe that's the day I got to know my real potential that how strong I really was <laughs> I won that tournament and I won this second stadium and it is also a Beyblade Burst B9 white stadium. It is the standard Takaya Tommy stadium, and it was re released in India as well. So I got that one thanks to Addy Austin for contributing for the prize. And at that time, on that day, I became owner of two Beyblade Burst stadiums. So I was like, I was, I, I wasn't able to stop thinking and stop smiling that. I, I'm the same guy who who couldn't even afford 200 rupees or 300 rupees for a Beyblade two years ago three years ago and now I am having two huge stadiums in my closet so it was quite a very a very overwhelming a very ravishing thing for me so that was pretty much a, a standstill like after becoming the owner of two huge stadiums I was satisfied 
but you know guys do you remember what my dream was my dream was at the first point when i started my dream was to get a bb10 stadium and guess what here it is <laughs> so i got it for pretty cheap just recently and yeah finally i can't believe that i am the owner of three huge people stadiums i am an owner of the bb10 stadium that i have wished for like um i wanted it since three years practically and if not practically then maybe seven years i waited for the stadium seven or three years whatever you want to call it man i got it finally i'm very happy and um, that's pretty much it you know uh, stadiums doesn't really count because look at my favorite collection from one base two base four base five base six seven ten and then stand till i'm at 50 plus like 53 54 56 or even 60 it can be 60 i don't even remember how much how many bays i have so yeah it's pretty much a progress and uh, my little brother is no more into baby but still uh, he looks at my collection and he says that wow bhaiya like you have progressed so so much because when i had my channel he used to be interested and i didn't really start him in my videos because he's an idiot but anyways and he's standing beside me he's, he's hitting me so that's all for this video guys thanks a lot for watching i know i make really long videos but it's worth watching right so yeah i'm done here and signing off zx out